my blissful gorgeous self, the prince of Brahmanda, this is our golden subject to discourse upon, means Lord of Love. The Lord of Love is the headline today. Himalayas have 25,000 mighty peaks, many covered with a dazzling snow, others pervaded with thick dark green forest shining like emeralds. Still others are adorned with reddish sides and shining after the melting of the snow. Most of them are the generous host of saints and sages who dwell in them to meditate. One of these peaks is well known as Mount Kalind. It is situated about 150 miles to the northwest of Rishikesh and about 500 miles from the capital, New Delhi. From this Mount Kalind flows a small stream of transparent blue water. This stream becomes historical, sacred, big, wide, long river calling the Yamuna, also known as Yamuna. It flows down, taking a southeasterly turn, uniting in the holy river Ganga after 860 miles of murmuring and meandering serpentine flow at the holy city of Prayagraj. Right in the middle, halfway from the origin to the union, there stands one of the seven highly vibrated cities on the earth, well known since the very dawn of civilization on the earth. This city is known as Mathura Puri, still a very beautiful holy place shining at the bank of Yamuna River, reminding all the visitors of ancient glory, fame and prosperity. It is still a hard captivating tract of sacred land expanded in 168 miles of territory. It has 12 great forests, each of which contains two sub-forests. <clears throat> and uh, and, and the, the time we are, uh, we are, we are talking about is 3500 years before King Vikramaditya, all um, Christians may think that it is 3500 years before Christ. The great Yadava King Devmir was governing the Mathura state kingdom. He was born in the lunar dynasty. He was successful as a king to this to his citizens, as a husband, a great husband to his wife, as a great father to his sons and daughters, as an honest seeker to the absolute truth. He married with Chhatrani and Gopani, two wives. The first one gave birth to a well-known son, Shur Sain, who gave birth to Sri Vasudev Ji Maharaj, whom Bhagavan Krishna himself chose to be son of. From the next wife, Gopani, a mighty and very handsome son was born, whose voice was like a rumbling of rain cloud. Therefore, his name became Sri Parjanaji Maharaj. When he became young, he married with a Gopa girl named Variyasi. After great jubilation of marriage ceremony, 
king dev vida offered his beloved son prajnya a special gift he made him king of the entire forest area of the state along with the entire wealth of holy cows since then the forests in the and and holy cow property became independent from the mathura kingdom their cooperation solely depended upon the goodwill of both parties the king placed a gorgeous embroidered white turban on the head of his tall magnanimous son and made him the owner of 900,000 most beautiful golden ornamented and silk bedecked holy cows along with all the forest area for them to graze and live in he embraced and blessed him sun parjanya ji maharaj picked up his responsibility and discovered if he wants to manage the holy cows and 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 forest efficiently then mathura is not the best place for him to live but another place known as mahavan across the mighty waves of yamuna soon he moved up there all his friends and kinsmen and those who loved to be with him and who shared the same goals and means of occupation joined him with all their wealth and holy cows and family members they settled in mahavan a most beautiful and magnificent city was formed it resembled a concentrated auspicious mark upon the forehead of the planet earth its name became gokul 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 around about that time the great maharishi shandilya inspired by his reverend father came from brahmalo and and while he was still up in the sky he glanced at this new city and was highly surprised no no it cannot be part of the earth it is far greater than even celestial plane of existence Spatially, this forest locality, it is none other than a piece of transcendental plane. That's it. Grass, trees, creepers, birds, animals, peacocks, all were transcendental. Gopis and the Gopas and the Holy Cows and the river banks and the hills, all were emanating such a divine fragrance which immediately merged one in a holy trance of love divine love transcendental love each stroke of perfume invited to wait and stay be still and get intoxicated in love with some unknown invisible oncoming cosmic beloved and my friend who is my friend most dear friend intimate friend many days maharishi chandalya stayed in the bank of yamuna river ate only fruits drank only yamuna water and sat in a divine trance under a tree so that his consciousness would become capable of enduring the divinity which was encompassing that entire forest lane and still be capable of interactions when he felt okay he entered the small city of gokul there he saw how wonderful the translucent gopas look like so full of homage so full of bravery sympathetic and generous it was as if love and capacity of strong organization dwelled in their very blood vessels 
service of the holy cows that purified them from the inside as well as outside the labor of this service had given them a gift of strong muscular bodies as well whether to heal the and of course adopted to a simple way of life no where else had shandal seen such whole hearted homage whole hearted reverence and whole hearted servicefulness towards the vedas towards bhagwan towards the wise men towards the saints and holy cows and the beauty of nature was certainly incomparable even to the heavens looking at the holy sage the gopas raj leaving their works aside led by king parjanya all fell prostrate at his feet and and took him in the palace a beautiful decorated seat was offered and sitting there all gopas and king parjanya worshiped with such heartfelt emotions that said shandilya wonder whether he himself ever did worship even to god with such great reverence that the shandilya received so many clothes so much food so much golden ornaments so many blankets so many deer skins and so many cows that he almost became a lord of kingly prosperity my dear friends in the serene placid bank of yamuna river soon a beautiful cottage was built somehow he stopped them from making it to palatial but still flower gardens tulsi grove and an special bathing hut were definitely made before he could say anything all the gopas were so skillful and so fast they had just made it animals were banned to come that side only one snow white kapila holy cow was accepted for worship so much ghee was brought every day that yagya ceremony became compulsory to exhaust them all soon many sages and saints and rishis and munis started coming from far and wide from unknown countries from unknown locals gopas under the leadership of parjanya built hundreds of artistic cottages for them and were always found to be at their service they would be very humble speaking very few words but knew like omniscient being what was needed in the ashram what the rishi the guru maharaj is thinking and needing and 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 is about to tell them to bring the new it and brought them before he would tell them and what service needed to be done and how all that flashed in their mind before it was spoken all from eldest to child knew it in absolute smartness sun variyasi gave birth to five sons and two daughters in the palanquin came ashi chandilya with many many sages under the canopy of many colored beautiful silks among echoes of vedic chants and jubilant songs and dance in front of thousands of ecstatic gopas he gave them names this is upananda he said him abhinanda oh him he is nanda ji maharaj <laughs> the great wide hearted nandaji and shri shri nandanay maharaj 
that if she shouted and top up his voice and, and he welcomed the little baby and his brother is Sananda and the youngest is Nandan. Their sister names will be Nandini and Sunanda. Due to his high-minded Abhinanda was also known as Mahananda. Soon among the joint celebrations, five brothers and both sisters started growing up. In happiness time moved fast. They became young. Upananda was married to Tungi. Abhinanda married Pivri. Sananda married with Kugla and, and Nandan married with Atula. The Gopa chief Sumuk gave his most dear daughter Yashoda in marriage to Nanda Maharaj. Nanda Mahamana Maharaj. Another long sister, uh, another long series of festivity went on for months and months. Nanda and Shoda were married. Nanda and Shoda were married. All gopis and gopas shouted. Upananda was a wise man. <coughs> he was great in counseling. He had no enthusiasm in materializing his counsels in practical life, nor was he interested in, in authoritative responsibilities. Mahananda was highly contented, spiritual, and most like a holy man. He was very serviceful um, in nature. He was not even aware of the situation of his own household and family. What to speak of the township? Therefore, the turban of lordship or kingship or supremacy of the forest and the holy cows adorn mm. the third brother, Nandaji Maharaj. And Nanda became Brajraj and Yashoda became Brajrani. All great characteristics, characteristics of his brothers dwelt in him along with the ability for a governorship. Both younger brothers were highly respectful to him. The entire Gopa kingdom admired Nandaji and Yashoda's coronation. Upon the request of Virginia Marsh, until they inaugurated the Turban coronation ceremony. In this festival, various lords of different forests took part. The Lord of Vyatsanu, now known as Varsana, and Sri Mahibhanu himself arrived along with his younger son, Sri Vrishibhanuji, accompanied by other ministers and counselors and family members. There were hillocks of gifts from the gopis and gopas. The royal guests were seated in one section, sages and rishis in another section, and the ladies were in the third section and musicians were in the fourth section. The music continued in the rhythm of the pronunciations of Vedic humans. Flowers showered and the worship completed. Suddenly then my Bhanuji stood up and announced, I am the eldest among all present kingdom king, kinsmen. It is my right to coronate first and the first offering will be placed by my son, Brihadrishabhanu, the intimate friend of our Nanda Maharaj. Parjanya knelt down and respectfully welcomed this belongingness of the oldest Gopa chief and wise chief, wise uh, wisdom chief of the community. Whatever are your orders, already in our hearts and minds. Sire, please 
Translated be so, soon Sri Nanda was adorned with the 